Welcome in this video about Bonita 7 adopted new feature regarding UI designer improvement for better collaboration. In order to ease collaboration, we make some change in the way we format the file that store what you create in the UI designer. So now you can compare two versions of a same page, a same widget, custom widget, a lot easily. Um, for example, we have made some change in the way we store widget properties, the way we store uh, the variables you declare in pages and uh, forms, and also in the way we store information about the custom widgets you create. But we should rather take a look about how it's evolved in the studio. So here I have a studio in version 7.9 and I did a few modification on a page and also a few modification on a custom widget and here I'm currently viewing the difference between uh, my new version and the previous version. So you can see here there is some date updates uh, because the last modification um, changed this date. And you can see here, for example, I have an array. Uh, it's a property of a drop-down list widget. And I add some element and change other. So you can see here, instead of two, it's now two and a half. And I did a fourth element. And it's all on one line, so it's probably not very easy to read. And in Bonita 7.10, if we compare, uh, the formatting is now, we have one value per row. So it's a lot easier to compare what changed between the two versions. Uh, you can easily spot what was added and what was uh, eventually removed or changed in uh, the property of the widget. But this is not only uh, true for uh, widget properties, but it's also true for uh, the, um, the definition of uh, variables. Here I have a JavaScript variable and it's not easy to spot what I did here, but in this variable, I have two functions, and actually I switched the order of the declaration of the two functions. And so as it's all on one line, it's, it's quite difficult to spot the, the difference. If I switch to Bonita 7.10 and compare the modification, you can see here that this function was gone and it's now added um, a little bit below. So you, Comparison is a lot easier also for a variable definition. Another point when there is this uh, modification, this improvement, is very useful is when you create custom widget. Uh, previously, when you create a custom widget, all was stored in one file. So you can see here my modification uh, is actually all stored in those three lines at the top of the file. Uh, there is a last update date, but there is also the modification to the template and the controller of my custom widget. So I can go to the difference, uh, but it's all in uh, one uh, or here three uh, different lines, but all grouped together. So not very easy to spot what changed. If I compare here with what we have now in Bonita 7.10, you can see that I have three different files actually. I still have the JSON files that store the definition of my custom widget, but here in 7.10, the change is only about the last update date. There is no more information modified here. And I can find in my controller uh, file here what I have modified. So here you can see that previously uh, white was defined as true white, and now I switch this variable value to gray. And this is the only modification in this file. And in the template, I introduce other modification with the exclamation mark I added at the end of this sentence. So with this better uh, structuration, better layout of the content of the file, it's a lot easier to compare and so a lot easier to merge different versions of a single file and ultimately a lot easier to collaborate when creating uh, pages, forms, widgets and so on with the Bonita UI designer. Thanks for watching this video about the new feature of Bonita 7.10 and stay tuned for more videos.